All right, this is section 13.3, gas stoichiometry. We're going to use volume ratios for gaseous reactants and products. We're going to figure out how much of each one we have using the coefficients from the chemical equations. And we're going to apply gas laws to calculate the amount of gaseous reactants and products in a chemical reaction. The coefficient is the number in front of the reacted product. We know that. Uh, when, gases when gases react, the coefficients in the balanced equations represent both molar amounts and relative volume amounts. So this concept is not too different from what we've already been doing with the chemical equations and the mole ratios. Okay, so when we, um, the gas laws can be applied to calculate the stoichiometric, stoichiometry of reactions in which gases are reactants or products. So this is all gases in this equation. And the equation, as you know, we've been studying, is two moles of H2 gas reacts with one mole of O2 gas to form two moles of water vapor. Okay. We're going to extend that concept that the coefficients also represent volume ratios for gases. So the, this is another equation for the uh, combustion of methane, and it's the methane plus two oxygens forms two one carbon dioxide and two water vapor molecules. It's all gases here. Okay, so it's one mole to two moles to one mole to two moles. You can also think of these as volume ratios, and we often use the, the liter in uh, chemistry for our unit of uh, volume. So it's like one liter to two liters to one liter to two liters is the way I usually think about it. So if I have one liter of methane gas, I'm going to produce two liters of water vapor. If I have 10 units of oxygen, 10 volume, 10 liters of oxygen, if I have 10 liters of oxygen, that means I'm going to produce five, half as much carbon dioxide and the same amount of water, right? The two and the two are the same. So I'm going to get 10 liters of water gas from the oxygen. Okay, but I only need five of the methane. So we're going to use those mole ratios. The volume ratios are almost exactly the same as the mole ratios we were doing before. Okay, so a typical problem would look like this. We're doing volume to volume ratios where everything is a gas in the equation. What will the volume in liters of oxygen require to complete the combustion of 0.35 liters of propane? Okay, so in all these equations, unless they tell you different, you're going to assume that the, every, all these gases are at the same temperature and pressure. Okay, so everything's at the same temperature and pressure. So we're going to set up some mole ratios. Okay, or not mole ratios now, but actually volume ratios, which are we set up the same way we do the, the mole ratios. Okay, so what's the mole ratio between propane and oxygen? Well, there's no number in front of propane, so that we assume that's a 1. And there's a 5 in front of the oxygen. So that means for every one mole of propane, we need to use five moles of oxygen. So we're going to set up our ratios like this. We've got the five liters of oxygen on top. We've got the one liter of propane on the bottom. Okay, so whatever, we, whatever we're given in our problem, we always put that on the bottom. Whatever we're trying to find out, we put that on the top. So we're just going to multiply across here. We don't have to divide by anything because one's on the bottom. So 3.35 times 5 gives me 1.75 liters of O2. Okay, so it's very simple when they're all volume to volume problems. Everything's a volume here. We just set up like mole ratios. And you could think of this, it's not it's not exactly a mole, but it works the same way as a mole. Remember, a mole has 22.4 liters at standard temperature and pressure. So we have to, that's what one mole of a gas equals, but we're not, dealing with that really in this problem. Okay, so the second problem here is the same equation, but they're on to figure out how much carbon dioxide is produced in the reaction. Okay, we're given the same amount of propane and we figured out how much oxygen we need, but now we want to ask it how much carbon dioxide are we going to produce. So what's our, our volume ratio going to be? Well, for every one mole volume of one liter of propane, we're going to have three liters of CO2. So which one goes on the top? Which one goes on the bottom? Okay, so the carbon dioxide is going to go on the top. The propane is going to go on the bottom again, just like we did before, only we're substituting pro carbon dioxide on top instead of oxygen. Multiply these across, and we get 1.50 liters 
of CO2. Okay, so we're going to break this video up into two where the volume mass problems are a little more involved, so I'm going to put those on their own video. So that's it for this video. So uh, answer the questions on the form below, and I'll see you guys in class tomorrow.